Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where we're going to be taking a look at how to visually find and remove duplicate entries within your Excel spreadsheets, as well as find unique lists from columns you have within your data. Let's jump in. In my basic spreadsheet, I want to first visually inspect the duplicate names that I have within column A. To do this, I can click the letter A to highlight the entire column, go to conditional formatting, highlighted cell rules, and then select duplicate values. On the duplicate values dialog box, I can click OK. And now Excel has visually highlighted all the duplicate entries or names that appear more than once within my spreadsheet. Excel gives us an easy way to remove duplicate entries from our data. We can go to the Data tab at the top and select Remove Duplicates. Notice in this dialog box, Excel has highlighted and selected each of the three columns within my spreadsheet. For this example, we'll leave all three columns selected so that Excel will check each column and only delete the row if the data is the same across all three columns. After clicking OK, you'll see Excel lets me know three duplicate values were found and eight unique values remain. After I click OK here, you can see my conditional formatting has been removed because the duplicate entries are now gone. Now let's look at an example where I want to find a unique list of locations for these employees. We'll head back to the Remove Duplicates option, and this time I'm going to uncheck the boxes for name and ID. You'll see visually that most of my employees are located in Arizona with only a couple located in other states, one in Texas and one in Florida. So now that Excel is only checking for duplicates in the location column after I select OK, Excel will remove all the duplicate entries from that column. Heading back to the original view, you can also use the unique formula to find a unique list within your spreadsheet. Let's stick with the previous example where we sought to find a unique list of employee locations. To begin, I'll enter the unique function into the cell. The unique function has only one required argument, which is the array of data you want to find unique values for. For this, I can highlight the entire location column, and after clicking Enter, you'll see Excel gives me my three unique values. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.